Well, this is the story. Captain Sweet gets caught in a holographic Star Trek simulation program and can only speak to people through videos like this about the plan, but it's always within the Star Trek simulation and he's trying to figure out how to program himself back into the real world, but he's lost. And there's these 20 people that he started this idea with to make this show. And he starts to get through to them that he's got something, he figured something out. And he's got these tools that if they use the tools, they can basically build a prototype that will then be used by the rest of the world to save the world. And so Captain Sweep has to come up with a story and a plan and designs from within this holographic world to share with the world and his, this team every week in a show called The Very Secret Plan. And that's what this is. This is the beginning of the very secret plan. And it can be a daily show. It can be a weekly show. It can be a monthly, a yearly. There's all these different time cycles where the show takes place. And at some point, it's hard to differentiate reality from the show because which is leading which. You know, when you start making your own show or doing your own editing in, in your life, it's, it's different than going into a studio and doing it. You know, it's, it's, it becomes closer, media and reality become closer and closer and closer until we jump into this virtual reality where we're going to have a very hard time distinguishing what is real and what is media. Things can change in a moment. And right now, this valley is one of the last intact old growth forest valleys on Vancouver Island. And if nothing is done, it's going to get locked, clear cut, just like so many places across the world. The last remaining old growth forests are about to be shut down, cut down, eradicated. And if you've ever seen a clear cut, you realize that the type of diverse growth that is necessary that occurs in the old growth forest isn't possible once you've eradicated it all in a very unnatural way. And so the last remaining sacred forests on our world are about to get cut down. And one of the first shows in terms of the Planetary Guardians and the Very Secret Plan is the Old Growth Forest Protection Coalition, which is a way to bring everyone around the planet who wants to save the trees together into one web TV show that tracks this issue across the whole planet. And right now it's starting in the Ferry Creek. And that's one of the pieces of the very secret plan, at least that I'm involved in. And one of the stories that would be weaving into this idea as we all bring together the different pieces and parts that we're holding. And this one is dear to my heart. There are certain sacred structures which if you bring your mind into alignment with, you are in alignment with how the universe works. And if you take a look at this one, the Taurus, and you place yourself in the middle of it, and you breathe, and you breathe, and you breathe, And you breathe. And you breathe. And what do you breathe? You breathe with your intention. You breathe with that which you say is valuable to you. Now let's say, I'm going to give you a little shared exercise here. It connects the theoretical into the real. And we have the sacred space so you breathe love into your sacred space. 
Breathe it out through your crown, bring it around and bring it up into your feet. Breathe love into your personal space. Bring the energy around, bring it up into your feet. Breathe love into your one-on-one -on -one space. Breathe out, bring it around, bring it up. Breathe love into your group space. Set it out, bring it around. Breathe love into your community space. That is a five breath process. That breathes love into the five communication spaces. And the five communication spaces is the primary model that people start with when they're learning the inflow matrix or the new paradigm toolkit or the very secret plan. It's being able to distinguish and differentiate between these five spaces and to bring as much love into them as possible. Our species has come to a crossroads where we can't continue in the same manner that we have. And there seems to be this underlying momentum of disaster based upon the fear-based paradigm of thinking that we are coming from. And so we need something new. We need to look at how we can shift our stories, shift our narrative, shift who we are as human beings, and look at how we create stories together about our real life integrating with the magic of the universe. Personally, I like the idea of being a starship captain and having full power of the USS Penetrator to do things for humans. This I like and I want to participate in and will participate in. And I'm looking for people who want to change the nature of their and our reality. So the question ultimately becomes, who wants to jump into the fire with Captain Sweet? Do you think it's a good idea to participate in the very secret one? Because you might get burned. Do you want to get synergized? So here's the plan. Some of you are going to say, okay, I want to get in. Some of you are going to go, it's not for me. And that's going to be the beginning of the process of getting the first 20 people who commit to the process, understand what it is, sign an agreement, and then we go forward. <laughs>